Welcome everybody to English Leveling, where we help you level up your English step by step so that you can improve and reach your goals. Today, we're talking about this phrase to spend time with something, something, something. Very simple phrase. Okay, so basically to spend time it is the same as saying, right, to use my time or to be with someone or do something with someone, okay? So I have time. Let's say if I have an hour, I can, what do I do with that one hour? Okay, I'm going to spend time reading, okay? We can use it that way. I spent, right, past tense, I spent time reading. We can say that. Okay, I want to spend a few hours uh, on the beach. Okay, we can say that. I want to spend a few hours, right? So we're seeing here that we can change this time to whatever amount of time we want. I spent 20 minutes getting ready this morning. I spent all week preparing for my exam. Okay, so something like this. We can say that we spent time, right? We used our time. Now, we use this phrase also when we want to say doing something together or do something with somebody else. And how do we do that? We just simply add with, right? I spent time with my wife on Sunday, something like that. I will spend the day with my family this Saturday. Okay, so we're getting more specific. I spent yesterday with my boss. Okay, so I spent, I used the time together doing something. Okay, I want to spend time with you. Okay, we can say that. I'd like to spend the day with you, okay? I want to spend the day with you. I'd like to spend the day with you. All very similar meanings. We can just change, right, the conjugation here a little bit. Spent for past tense, spend. But we when we say spend time, or how much time we can say this, that we used our time together with someone. I spent the day with my friends. I spent the night over at my friend's house. Something like that. All right, so the possibilities for this are endless. When you say to spend time with, you're going to use time. You're going to be together. You're going to do something together. I hope that this lesson is very clear for you. If you have any questions at all, please let me know, and I'll be happy to help you even further in the comments below. Thank you.